wrench fell all the way through there. He said, let's ask Dale Walter. He went up to him and said, how come you use five lug bolts? He said, to hold the wheel on. <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> It's almost verbatim for a brother where art though. It don't make no sense. <laughs> morning guys welcome back to the channel it is thursday april the 11th and my name is daniel and you're watching triple r farms and uh the storms are gone looks like every farm pretty much got around an inch and a half of rain some farms got a tenth or two more some farms got a tenth less than an inch and a half but uh that's a good thing because we were predicted to get anywhere from five to six inches so that is very very good we did not get all that rain um if you didn't watch the last video we are through planting corn we got through uh yesterday or the day before what's today thursday we got through tuesday um so what we got on tap for today uh we got a lot of things we're going to be doing uh number one i'm going to be working on the grain cart i got that iron back from that metal shop to uh, weld on the auger uh the row gator we're going to be taking my flotation tires off of that uh planters we i think we're going to be swapping both planters to uh soybean um cause that's what we're going to be planting next uh because that's the first land that's going to dry up i think it's going to be a togaville and that's where we're going to be planting beans so we're going to deck out both planters to uh plant soybeans and then who knows what else we're going to be doing so sit back enjoy the video and let's get this baby started So here's what we're doing to the grain cart. This auger right here is worn out and it has a crack going all the way down. Basically the whole auger just rusted out. So we had a machine shop, cut these pieces of metal right here and then they rolled it to the same angle as this 22 inch auger. So we'll grab those two pieces and they should fit flush up here against the auger and then we'll weld them on the top and then we'll weld them on the bottom.
let you go first. Now these are not going to be even right here because I got this little brace right here that sticks out. So we're just going to rotate it around until we hit this brace and that's where we'll weld it. So that's why they're not lined up perfect. You know why I need these? I'll show you why. Because I stepped on my Costas. sense <laughs> they're not taped together so which two go with which two that's those two that's got two and this one's got three so I believe it's these three it was almost verbatim for a brother where art though yeah. <laughs> it don't make no sense <laughs> <laughs> make no sense what we gotta do is I gotta back it out of the shop because I'm gonna fold the auger over to get the underside so I'm not welding upside down um, but we got to back it out from under this roof. It's going to hit the, uh, whatever you call that, awning. Okay, I'm still on the underside. <laughs> I'm still on the underside. That didn't help at all. This thing's going to be pretty ugly but it'll hold my welding helmet has an auto dimming for some reason it stays dark the whole time what the heck's going on can't see anything well I got it working perfect now but if you have a Miller classic series what I didn't have is the uh, sensitivity. Anyway, I had it too high, so you go to mode, it has a weld. Anyway, I brought that sensitivity all the way down to the lowest point, and uh, she's working great now.
Now the reason we're uh, changing this tire right here, Dad said he had a bad cut on it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Whew. He doesn't know what he ran over, but it happened down there at Gray Rocks. Same place my tire got messed up, but that wouldn't cut it right there. So got my Griff tire out here. They're putting a brand new one on and uh, they always do an awesome job. Last thing we gotta do is put this little thing on that protects the uh, hydraulic lines. They run through it. They go to this little uh, cylinder that tilts your spout on the end. Anyway, we gotta, line, we gotta mount that cylinder up on that spout and then I'll know where that goes and then we'll weld it and then we'll put the other piece on there and weld it and then we gotta run the hydraulic hoses through it and connect it all up. This thing's taking longer than I thought. What? Cylinder. cylinder. Stick the boat down. Oh my God. That hurt. So what you heard on Monday, not Friday, or Thursday. And the cylinder's halfway out. That's shooting. Oh. Uh, we'll run the hoses last. We'll run a wire through it. Now that's shooting up, isn't it? Yeah. I would say just straight out, the cylinder should be extended. Is this all the way out? That's what I just did, yeah. That look, center of the, let me go up. And, that? and this is all the way out? Yep. All right, that's where it goes. All right, weld it, weld it. Okay, so we're almost finished with this auger. Uh, but I got a little gap right here. For some reason, I don't know, we didn't seal up real good right here. Uh, so went and found this piece right here. I kind of curved it a little bit. But we're gonna butt it up just like that. And that should seal up that gap. But I've gotta weld it on the end and then I gotta hammer it around because it's not perfectly shaped. And then we'll whack the rest of it off with the uh, Metabo. And the last thing we got to do is run the hydraulic lines through this baby right here. All the way to that cylinder. Tighten the lines up. And then we're ready to back this sucker out of here. And uh, we'll get Wayne to come back in here and paint it. But uh, he'll probably do that tomorrow. Try this again. She's done. Set it and forget it. Now you're gonna come to the right. Come down an inch. That one went.
going. Oh yeah. Why don't we just become a farm who just gets <laughs> impact dust and that's it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No more than that. <laughs> that's good. <Ooh. laughs> race car announcers were talking about why NASCAR uses five lugs to hold the wheels on. And they said, here comes Dale Walter. You know, other race cars only use four. He said, let's ask Dale Walter. They went up to him and said, how come you use five lug bolts? He said, to hold the wheel on. <laughs> Not yet. Come on. Push it my way. I got it. Got it. Woo! Coming down. Put the kit back together. That was torn, but it's not. Soybean singulator brush. You leave it alone. Just make sure it looks all right. That looks okay. You got the ejector. Mm -hmm. Now the seat plate. Seat plate. I'm gonna have the bag to my right. You got to watch this right here. See that little clip. It's clipped there and clipped there. You gotta put your finger on it and match. Yeah, make sure it's clipped in both ways. Right. Clip, clip. Clip. There you go. I tell you what, they've done better this year than they've ever done. Or seen lately. Oh, yeah. And the population's staying right on it. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for the video. Uh, we are going to put the uh, skinny tires on the Rogator. We're just going to do that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to finish changing out the uh, planter hoppers to uh, soybeans and then we'll probably call it a day. Uh, we'll do this job tomorrow. That auger just took up a lot of my time today. Uh, but anyway, thanks for uh, watching another one with us guys. If you want to do me a favor, click that thumb. means you like the video. And uh, Triple R Farms over here if you want to subscribe. Let me tell you about subscribing. Uh, my videos are coming out pretty sporadic because we got tennis. I mean, Thomas has tennis now. Got baseball practice, baseball games. So I really don't know when I get can get a video out. It's just whenever I get the time to get it home, edit it, and punch it out. Uh, that's just when it comes out. So they're kind of coming out, you know, sporadic. So if you subscribe to the channel, doesn't cost you anything. It will just notify you when I put a video out. You'll get a little ding, a little bell on your phone or iPad or whatever. And uh, it'll notify you when I put a video out. So if you want to do that, click the Triple R Farms logo over here. Other than that, guys, see y'all on the next one. We're out.